Live from the world of Waddington's, the Hero Maze. It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Come on, score it, buddy. Get ready to move your character, your adventurer, to his entrance to the center. You scored a 21, uh, you scored a 2. Move the walls one space and proceed as far as you can. Now move the walls again and see a new path appear. Enter at your own peril. Enter at your peril. In this episode, Waddington's Heroes of the Maze. The game, quick, to the board game room. All right, here we go. It's Waddington's Heroes of the Maze game. The game. And in this game, you're going to have this board here. And it's, it's a dial. The maze changes. This is almost like um, Ravenberger's Labyrinth, but it's Waddington's Heroes of the Maze. Okay? You're going to be shifting the maze walls and making them move. See? As they move here like that. Okay. So now it's going to make a challenge for you to get through the maze to the center. Fight off the um, the troll and get your rings. You're going to get nine rings here. You're going to get these three dice. Okay. Pretty cool dice. They're going to be uh, telling you what to do, where, when, and how. And how many. And then you're going to get these four player marker pieces here. No mention tokens here. We have five, uh, four heroes. You get yellow, blue, red, and green. And then you're going to be um, starting here. Um, not much installation for this game. You just got to install these um, little arcs, these doorways. And um, you're going to get this troll. And then he's going to be in the middle here. And um, he's going to be guarding the center. You have to fight him, I believe. And uh, the object of the game is to be the first to acquire three magic rings by winning duels. And so become the hero of the maze. Okay. So, uh, now with the three rings, you're going to have to... Um, start your your uh, play markers here. So all the heroes are gonna walk through the arcs, the archways there, and they're gonna enter in through here. And you gonna set them up like so, on each of their same colored spot with the same colored miniatures. And you're gonna place the troll in the middle. And what you're going to do now is have fun playing this game. You're going to, you know, well, if that, that's if and when you get it, you know. But uh, you're going to um, place the magic maze between the players, align the walls at random uh, before play by moving one of the light gray tabs several times to the left or the right. With your eyes closed, okay? So you don't know what you're doing or whether, you know, how it's going to, the maze is going to be. You're going to push the arch, the arches into the slots on each uh, part of the maze. I leave them there and I just keep them there because the box is deep enough that, you know, like um, this whole set can go in there. And you can close the box easily without having to take these out. So you're going to place the evil ogre on the rock in the center of the maze, okay? And then, um... You got to put the rings in the pool around the rock. Okay, so in here is a pool. You're going to put all these rings in the pool here. All these rings in the pool. Oh, he's going to get all these magic rings. These these heroes' rings. He must be getting married to a lot of other ogres. And they're all trying to stop him before he has his bachelor party. No, I'm kidding. So... <clears throat> you know how to get a joke in there somehow. Anyway, so what do you call it? Um, 
So each player chooses an adventurer and puts them in front of an arc with the matching colored circle, like I showed you just now before a little ago. Decide who will start. Take turns, play clockwise, all right? So rules for turning the magic maze. Move one of the light gray tabs to the left or the right as far as it will go. This changes the position of the maze walls by exactly one segment. You are not allowed to test it which, you know, direction is best. So your first choice is final, all right? So when you go like this, you hear a click or stop. You can't push it no more, really, until you notice that it's going to click into the next segment. See that? Then that's it. So that's the way the maze is going to be now. So your first aim is to get to your colored gate space, okay? You got to get to these gates. From here, yellow's going to have to get, find his way all the way over to here, okay? So it's going to be quite a challenge now. So you're going to first um, do that. Like you're going to first aim is to get your colored gate, get to your colored gate space. In the center of the opposite side of the maze before the other players reach theirs first before you do. Okay? So first throw the number die. Okay? And I scored a three. So the score indicates how many segments you move. You may move the, the maze in this turn. So I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay? So that, that's three times the maze moved now. Next, if the entrance to the maze is open, which is not, it's closed. But for all of them, it's closed, actually. So here's what you do. Hold on a second. So if the entrance to the maze is open, you can move your adventure as far through the maze as you wish. You may not jump over any walls, okay? Even if they're way taller than them, you know, they might, you know... You know, trip and fall and get hurt and not be able to make it to the center of the maze and back. So, it's not funny. It, it really does happen. <laughs> okay, so I'm only kidding. So, anyway, um, so you're, you're going to first do that and next do that. And then you're going to turn the magic maze one segment and move your adventurer again as far as possible. Or as far as you want him to go. So, let's just say, for example, the maze is open, right? So he's going to go one, two, he's going to go as far as he can go. That's over here, pretty much. And then he stopped over here, he's stuck. So now when the maze moves, he can now exit out this way and go more in his turn. But that all depends now how far he can be able to go. Because you're going to have all these other players, you know, just turning the wheel around mixing up the maze you know so so now um you're gonna turn the magic maze one segment and move your adventure again as far as possible as far as possible you want him to go so you could stop at any time i could have stopped in here i could have stopped in there but i'm gonna stop him over here so now um what do you call it uh you're going to um turn the magic maze one segment okay now this uses up the first spot on your die score so that's your first spot in your die score. Now, you're going to turn the maze and move your adventure once more for each remaining spot that you've thrown in the die. So what I just did right now, what you saw me just do right now, if I roll a three, I got to do that three times. If I roll the six, well, jeez, I want to have some long turn. So, and that happens with everybody now. So, for example, you throw a two, set off through the maze and turn the maze one segment and move your adventurer one spot. Oh, okay. So you're going to turn it one like that and then like that and then I can move him one spot over. Okay, so these are your your spaces. That's what I thought in the first. But uh, I guess I messed that up. I'm sorry. So um, now you're going to set off through the maze and turn the maze one segment and move your adventurer and so it equals one spot. So now turn the maze a second time and move your adventure again two spots. So that, that, that that's equal to two spots. So now rules for moving through the maze. You may move in any direction, but not over the wall, okay? So um, you may move as far as you wish until you reach a dead end, okay? Like how you did before. So that, that was correct then. Sorry if I'm sounding a little bit confused, but 
you could probably recap in this video and then, uh, you know, see where, you know, money got mixed up. So, um, now, um, you may choose not to move your adventure if you, if you so wish. Okay. Uh, you may move as far as you wish until you reach a dead end. You may pass over, but not land on an opponent in the maze, providing the path beyond is clear. Okay, so you can't land on the same space as this guy. All right, that's a no-no. So now, let me just make it cool. So that that's pretty much basically it. Now, um, you may pass over, but not land on an opponent's central colored gate space. Okay. So, he can't go on there. Once he reaches here, he can't do it. It's a no-no. So now, um, you may, uh, you may not pass the ogre in the maze. Okay? You can't pass him. Alright? So, um, uh, you may pass over but not land on an opponent's central colored gate space. You may, you may move into the colored space in front of your arc during the game. If you wish. Okay. Now, um, uh, you cannot be attacked when on this home space, though. So, your home spaces are safe spaces. So, you're safely home. You get it? Okay. So, now, um, safe, like in baseball, safe home. Okay. Anyway, so. You may not move into an opponent's colored arch space. You can't do that. Uh, now, fighting and winning duels. You win, you, you win rings by making your adventurer fight duels. Okay, so you can also gain control of the evil ogre and use it to win rings for you. Okay, so now there are three ways of winning rings. If you win a duel with the ogre when it is on its rock in the center, okay? If you control the ogre and, and it wins a duel after attacking another adventurer in the maze. If you win the duel with the adventurer when he is on the rock of the center, okay? In the center of the maze. You may challenge an adventurer or the ogre to, to a duel by moving alongside of them. There must be no wall separating you from them, though. So, you know, he's got to be like, you know, it can't be like that because the wall is separating that, that lighter colored wall. All right. But if they're here, they could fight. All right. So now, um, what's also going to happen is this, um, first duel. Okay. When you reach your colored center space. All right. Um, you may immediately attack the ogre, providing the gate to the center is completely open. So in this case, none of the walls are open to this to the uh, center. But if they were, well, now you can go in here and battle the uh, the ogre. Okay. So now here's what you're gonna do. Um, if it is shut uh, or half shut, you you use any points you have left on your die roll. To turn the maze to open it. You get it? Okay, so now otherwise you gotta wait for your next turn. So then you're gonna have um, start duel, uh, face the ogre. Okay, so now you're gonna have uh, the uh, dice are gonna say things. You have a shield or a sword or a blank space, and then these, this is your movement die. Kind of like the die from um, the dice from. Um, Lost, uh, lost world of lost valley of dinosaurs from Waddington's. Also a cool game. Check out that game. I do that game. Uh, Matt, Luke, and Bernardo do that game. So, um, you know, that's Matt Wilkins and Tabletop Island. And then, um, uh, Down from the Attic. So, um, now, um, you have these dice here. Now, face the ogre away from your adventurer to indicate that you're on the attack. Okay? So, you want to, you know, face him. So, you're on the attack now. Okay? So, now they're face-to-face. -face. They're toe-to-toe. 
and they're ready to throw. All right, so now, um, adventure wins. Okay, so now you can throw one dueling die. If you throw, if you throw a sword, adventure wins. Take a take a ring. Okay, you gotta take a ring, and um, they hook on. So you gotta like, they like they like linked together or something a little bit. So you gotta get your golden ring here. Nine golden rings, like the Christmas song, but five golden rings, is nine. I, I had to say that anyway. So, um, so you're gonna take control of the ogre and place it in front of your ark, okay? So now that you got the ring, you're gonna place it in front of the ark. Excuse me, um, that's like burp talk. <laughs> so anyway, you're gonna place your adventure on the rock, okay? So your adventure is going to go on the rock now. It's going like this. And um, now on your next turn, you will move the ogre instead of your adventurer. So he's going to go through the maze now because you got the ring. All right. So you get it. So now a shield or blank. Okay. Is a draw. A draw. So if you get like a shield. All right. Or a blank. Okay. It's a drawer, okay? So you must now defend yourself against the ogre. Turn it to face you to show that it is attacking. And your adventurer defends himself. Throw one dueling die again to defend yourself. If you throw a sword and shield, okay? So if you throw a sword and shield, all right? Then that means this. That means that you have defended yourself successfully. You can attack again. Turn the ogre away from you and go back, you know, to uh, start duel, okay? So now if you roll a blank, all right, if you roll a blank, then um, this is what happens. The ogre wins because you had no defense against it and it remains on the rock. You go back to your arc and your turn ends. So that's what happens. Like, yeah, get, get your ass out of here. Right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, now ogre challenges adventure and maze. Okay, other duels. To, these take place as the game progresses. All right. So um. Oh man, I'm going seventeen minutes here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up a little bit. Uh, if you control the ogre and meet an opponent's adventurer, you may, if you wish, challenge him to a duel. If so, any leftover moves are forfeited, okay? So you're going to turn the ogre to face your opponent's adventurer in the attack position. Your opponent's adventurer now defends himself. He throws one dueling die. If he throws a blank, the ogre wins as you, can, uh, you as controller of the ogre, take a ring from the pool. And the ogre stays put and the defeated adventurer goes back to, to, to his starting space, okay? And the turn ends. If you roll a sword or a shield, a draw, the ogres turn the face away. Your opponent must now throw the die to the, attack the ogre, and that's it. So now your opponent's adventurer attacks. He throws one dueling die. If he throws a blank or a shield, a draw, he goes back to start to continue the fight. You know, so you guys, you know, face again just to fight him. Now, um, if you draw a sword, then your opponent's adventurer wins, and he stays put. The ogre returns to the arc. To your arc, as you are still its controller. Okay, so it's kind of confusing a little bit with the back and forth thing going on, but like, um, not really. Once you get the hang of it, so I mean, right now I'll, I'll just you know, the, the, these are the rules and regulations there. So if you want to just like you know, if you really want this game and you get it and you want to pause it and just if it comes with no instructions, okay. So, but now adventure challenges ogre in a maze. If your path is blocked by the ogre, you may challenge it, if you wish, by moving up next to it. So, face the ogre away from you to indicate that you're attacking. Your adventure attacks, throw one dueling die. If you throw a sword, you win. Stay put and send the ogre back to the controller arc. And um, your turn ends. Or sword and sword or she, or sword. Ugh. 
Shield or blank the drawer, the ogre turns to face you. Prepare to fight again. Your adventure defends himself. Throw one dueling die if you throw sword or shield. A drawer, you may attack again. Go back to start duel. You roll a blank. The ogre wins. Your adventure returns to his arc. And um, the ogre stays put. Your, your turn ends. Okay. And that's pretty much basically it. Adventure challenges. Adventure at center. So you can also fight... You know, um, somebody in the center. So, you know, they all get in the center. They want to fight or something like that. So now, um, if you arrive at the central colored space and the gate to the pool is open, you may attack the adventurer on the rock. All right. So now, um, what happens is this, uh, both you and your opponent take a dueling die and throw simultaneously. So you both, one's going to take yellow, one's going to take gray. You roll them. One's got a shield, the other one's got blank. So both you and your opponent take a dueling die and throw simultaneously. Blank plus sword. Sword wins regardless of who threw it. If you win, take control of the ogre by putting him in front of your arc. Take a ring and then send the adventurer back to the arc. And take his place on the rock. If the adventure on the rock wins, you are sent back to your arc. Okay? So, um... Now, any plus any is a drawer. So this would probably be like a drawer. Okay? The duel continues, and you both throw your dice again. Any other combination of dice. So, you know, like, any, this, any plus any is any other combination of dice. But you got to keep on rolling until somebody rolls a sword, and that's it. So adventurer may duel only at the center. Okay, adventurers may, may, may duel only at the center, not when they meet in elsewhere. Not, not when they meet elsewhere in the magic maze. Winning the game. The first player to, to collect three rings wins the game and is the hero of the maze. And that's uh, Heroes of the Maze. Waddington's Heroes of the Maze. Now, you're also going to have summary of duels. So, like, these are, like, examples of the duels. So, if you want to get a gander at that, all right, that's your summary of duels. So, and then you can read it so you don't get confused. And you can just go back to what was... uh you yeah, know, said in the video or whatever. But that that's basically it. Now let's go off top and see my final thoughts about the game. Alright, so final thoughts. Now what do I think about this game? Wow 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 wow. I like this game. It's cool, it's a fun game. Um I uh you know ordered it online and uh my when, when I, I was looking for like maze kind of games and stuff and then this one just popped up. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's a Waddington's game. Waddington makes fun games. It looks like a little toy, like a little place with the way I like games. And uh, the miniatures are cool. Kind of got like that look to like the Raven Burgers kind of, um, you know, characters from like, um, what was it again? <laughs> oh, I remember that. It, it was, um, who, who was it? Was the one that um, Enchanted Forest had us? Not Enchanted Forest. The other game. Dragonhort. So Dragonhort, it was it's kinda like, like those kind of figurines, you know? But whatever, anyway, that doesn't matter. So, um but the the gameplay is cool. I think it's a cool solid game. You just you're you're moving. I actually like this better than Labyrinth a little bit. I like I like no, I like Raven Brothers Labyrinth and Wellington's Heroes in the Maze game the same. I like them because of different reasons though. You know, like you know what I'm saying? So um, this one's got a little bit more action in it, though, because you got battles in here. And you're all fighting for the rings and stuff like that. You know, first person get three rings wins. I like that. I also like that, um, you know, um, the miniatures are cool. I like how you get to switch and, and shift the maze passageways. So, um, you're, you know, blocking your opponent from, you know, advancing in the game and winning, you know. So that's quite a challenge. You know, I like uh, battling the ogre, and then you gotta go back and forth with like the ogre being your at your starting space, and then you're in the center, or you're fighting him in a labyrinth somewhere in the maze. 
you know that that's pretty cool so i like the dice in this game too the rings are cool they look pretty cool they look like those little rings that you get used to get when you were a kid in the 25 cent machines and, and those little bubbles you used to get you know for a quarter you know but uh that that's basically it so that you know it's a pretty cool game i recommend it if you find it pick it up you know that's uh Waddington's Heroes of the Maze. Game. The game. That's it for today, everybody. Looks like this game is over. Board game. Freak out.